Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and today we're playing Resident Evil Outbreak in multiplayer. It's a miracle. I've played this game first time in 2006, and uh, having the European version, it didn't have any uh, online support, so I always thought it was a weird game. Why are they two people following me around and why can I give them voice commands and all that? It didn't make sense. It wasn't my favorite Resident Evil game. Uh, but a bit later I got uh, Outbreak File 2, uh, it's a uh, sequel or as they marketed it, uh, its expansion. And it did have online support, but it was dead in Europe but by that time. So finally uh, I've got my hands on a Japanese version and there are servers for this version. Um, they, I gotta say, they work better than some modern game servers in terms of lag and uh, overall game experience. Uh, the com community is great overall. I've had a blast, so I thought I would I share this with the world. Um, Outbreak, uh, if you haven't played it, and a lot of people haven't, unfortunately, it's it's an episodic game, so you will see that games like Left 4 Dead, um, even maybe like World War Z, a couple of um, modern zombie shooters, they took inspiration from this game. And this came out in 2003, so you can imagine it was... I didn't even know what internet was in 2003, to be honest. I got my first dial-up in 2006 or something, so... Way, way back when, on the PlayStation 2, this is fucking insane. Um, you can use the controller for typing and uh, for chat and some only multiplayer though, not single player um, functions. You can use a USB keyboard. I have a USB keyboard plugged in, but I don't know if the cable can reach. Yeah, there. there. It's pretty, yeah, <laughs> it's out of reach. But I have a actual PlayStation 2 hooked up um, with a USB keyboard and a uh, controller and we're gonna experience this as it was in 2003 which was a long time ago considering you know how fast games evolve um it the game as as you know the game in itself it didn't age as much as you'd expect for something from 2003 now unfortunately even though my ps2 is hooked up via component cables to the tv um my capture card has only composite inputs, so I had to Frankenstein a bit to be able to uh, have good picture on TV and the best possible on the stream, but you know, being a 480p uh, stream, it's not really going to affect, you know, that much. Colors would probably be better, maybe less, uh, less noise, but it shouldn't be that of a problem on, you know, such low, low res content. This is 480 I actually it's not 480p the stream is 480p the game itself is 480i so you know it's that old uh, right now there's just two of us here I'm gonna be cabin and uh, my buddy here is gonna be mark um, we chose this configuration so every there's eight main characters each character has their own unique uh, skills their stats and they all feel different when you play with them um, so the reason we went with this config is because Kevin is, he's the easiest basically for new players. He's the fastest character out of 100 possible character variations. 100, I counted. Um, he has a good pistol at a start. He has a uh, 45 um, caliber uh, pistol. And he has an ability where if you aim, now this is an old school Resident Evil as you will see in a few moments. Um, when he aims, he can actually crit every hit by holding the aim button, then he'll do like aim again. If you hit something with that, that's like and uh, But only with pistols, he can't do that with shotguns and great launchers. He can't do it with the Magnum though. And he also has a kick, which is pretty useful because all the characters, once you unequip their weapons, they can tackle instead of where their, you know, shooting would be. But Kevin can have a gun and still do like a melee strike. He can kick. Um, if you've played Resident Evil Resistance, it's something might remind you uh, uh, something that was Tyrone's kick 
might be inspired by. Uh, the kick is very useful, but you know, as uh, I played, honestly, when I played the single player, I only beat it with Kevin. I wasn't interested in other characters, like in the waitress or whomever, uh, but when I started playing online, I realized how useful all these characters are. And we get to Mark. Uh, Mark is going to be here, so he's the tank. Uh, his special, where Kevin's kick is, his is like defend. He also starts with a pistol, though a different one. He's a security guard, whereas Kevin is an RPD officer, probably important info. Uh, and he has a ton of health, but he's important for this scenario, which is something this game has. If you have certain characters, uh, certain character or a combination of characters, things can go differently, and you can see secret endings, secret uh, scenarios, etc. Now, right now, we're playing a normal because there's just two of us. There's no need, uh, reason for brutal bloodshed, but we will play on very hard, and enemies and puzzles change according to difficulty here. Uh, on top of the game already being randomized with its items, etc. Hi, Zombie Comer. Hello. How are you? I hope you're having a great day of work, bro. <laughs> so we're 47 seconds from start. Nobody else is joining right now. Oh, yeah. We also have the chat. So since I have the keyboard, I can actually type faster. Uh... But to, it starts with caps lock, so you have to hold ship, shift and press caps lock. It's old. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so, 15 seconds to start. We can start it right away. There's no need. So we're playing the first game scenario, I think. Let me check. Yes, outbreak. Um, and we'll play... I assume we're going to do th the first three three scenarios today uh, the first two are definitely the sh the shortest ones they can beat them pretty easy and quick and they're easiest to master but then it goes like it goes to shit to the final scenario you'll see the intro is there to introduce us to all the characters there's a lot of background stuff that I missed for 15 years, first 15 years of playing this. But a lot of it really comes to shine in the online. That's one of the downsi downsides of the European version. Because it didn't have online, a lot of stuff was cut. Like when something would happen, you would need friends to rescue you. Bots are smart, but they're not that smart. They're not, they weren't programmed to finish the game for you, otherwise you wouldn't even have to play, right? Hey, Bob. So this scene wouldn't be in the intro if we didn't have a mark, which is why we wanted to have a mark in this game. Huh? What a weird customer. Sure. Why not? Damn it. Yeah, such a weird customer. <laughs> blood, there's blood everywhere, oh my god. They just want to warm up and get a drink? Why are these people so selfish? Okay, we'll bar them outside. Why not? Uh, the thing with Outbreak, so it was intentionally made without voice chat. And... Communication is done this way. So you're moving the right stick and pressing the... Uh, so there's five of them. Go. Come on. Help. Thanks. And wait. And then there's five more when you hold the L2 button and use the stick. Uh, they would be the names of the players. Since there's only one player, we can only call Mark. Uh, we can say yes, no, no and that's way. it. And the circle or square button, depending on your configuration, would be the general ad-lib, where they would just comment on the current situation, 
and it can give you story insight, tell you what the, what your allies are doing, stuff like that. Now this with the barrels is one of those things I didn't know you could do the first 50 years of game uh, playing this game, so... Mark, why not take the key, bro? Okay, that works too. Let's to get Bob. So, pushing the barrels and carrying this guy up. Oh, okay. Are kind of new things for me because they never did that bots don't tell you what to do when you're playing on your own you're just trying to survive like any other resident evil but when you're playing with other pe people you know other human players you see what they do and you act upon it you try to replicate that now this is dangerous this can be instant death if you're not careful that window and i'll actually save that for one time maybe it happens it randomly happens to people all the time i'll take bob you go. Move it. Excellent. Yeah. There's a lot of rooms we don't even have to visit. So a lot of content is optional and is just there to enrich the story, which is again amazing. I didn't know about this the first 15 years, because again, you're just trying to survive running. But there's just two of us here, so less than when you're playing in multiplayer, but it really helps because uh they're human players, you know. It's a person. Okay, Bob? You okay, bro? Oh. And the barrels that we did, they bought us some time. So if we didn't do that, we could still escape and everything. But they would crash into the bar earlier. Probably. I, I know sometimes in single player, I don't even get to exit the first room and they can already crash. And of course, as a kid, I was too afraid to get close to those windows, so of course I never pushed the barrels. No. Ah! Goodbye, Will, sweet prince. Why did nobody help him? I never understood that part. But okay. Okay, let's get the key. Bob, stay there. Be a good boy. Oh, what now? Oh my, Bob is hurt. What do we do now? This scene, for instance, it only shows if Bob is... Um, if Bob is... Brought here while all the players in the party are gathered in this room. Now I see that the... Uh, it's a little dark in the stream, so I'll try to change... Because this is... Yeah, this should be antennas. NTSC MJ. There we go. A lot better. A lot better. A lot brighter. Sorry about that. There's nothing here. Bob, where are you, old boy? Let's unlock this and escape before they break the barricades. Come on, Bob. You can do it, bro. Here. Now, since there are just two of us, I'm not gonna uh, play around with a lot of optional stuff. But. As as I play this game, so the, like this scenario for instance, several times, I will definitely try to do as much as possible like on this side stuff. I still don't know everything, I've been playing for a few weeks and damn there's a lot in this game. Like it's chock full of content. I can't believe they, they were able to cram this onto a 4 gig DVD and make it work on the PlayStation 2 and make it look this nice. This is the PS2. This is the weakest console of this generation. Imagine if this was ported to something like Xbox 360 or later. Just, I'm just sit there. Okay. We got the fork with B. Got the first tape spray. Oh, oh my god. Uh. Get away, sir. Uh. Stomp him. Uh. Uh. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Uh, uh. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Sure, thank you. Here's the paper. Hope you make put it to good use. Alright, 14 bullets. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're ready to go. Bob? <laughs> Bob, you old bastard. Let's go. Well, I heard something happened, but nothing's showing up, so... Whoa! Bob! Save Bob! 
We gotta save mom! Oh my god! He's an old man! Have heart, you beasts! Oh my god! Leave me alone! Uh. Mom! I'll get you, buddy! It's the hairy zombie. That's the guy who killed Will. Kill Will. Yes. Stop saying here, Kevin. Can you say something here. more useful? What was that? Let me do Son this. I should have ran and left Bob to him, but okay. I am excited to play this, I will say. So from here we have two options. Okay, I'll go. I hope he'll He can take he can take him Yes. Uh -huh. Excellent. So, Bob can't climb, obviously, so I'll have to go around and basically um, open the shutters from the other side. Now, we could, and I've seen people do that in very hard games, because uh, the forklift key is a bit harder to get. There's a puzzle involved on very hard. We could just bash that shutter door that's barring us from going further, but that takes a long time, and this is a lot cooler. Hello, Classy. Thank you. Let's save Bob and Mark, two colleagues from heaven. Come on, shutter open. I don't know why that couldn't be done from the other side, but yeah. I don't know. Good. Yes. I hope you're okay. Are you pushing through? Yes, there's Bob. Hello, Bobby. Come on, Bob. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Yes. Okay, I'll get the key and kill the crows. I hope he gets that. I don't know. Go now. Take Bob, please. Wait a minute. What was that? Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, he said wait, but I already opened the door. That's okay though. It's a normal. This is like the easiest scenario. What what's the worst thing that can happen? Oh my god, it's crows! The worst thing that can happen. I'm not wasting this good ammo on you fucks. Or am I? Bob! Leave Bob alone! What's wrong with you? Ow! Come on, Bob! You can do it, old man! Come on! Yeah! Thank God these crows are blind! Come on, Bob! And there we go, we rescued Bob. Kinda? You can You can never rescue Bob. I can't move anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Classy. I hope so, too. No, Bob. No, we need the bullets, you man. You don't understand, Mark. I'm no different from them. I feel the hunger. Well, you have a mustache. That's different. Two, three. So, so please let me die while my conscience remains. No, Bob, I couldn't hold your hand because oh, it was Bob. scripted. Bob! Poor Bob. Now, if this were very hard, Bob wouldn't say that. Oh no, he would seek revenge. Let's go. Sorry, Bob. You were awesome, bro, but we got business to attend. Woohoo! We don't have to do this, but there's like extra stuff here, so why not? Kevin can kick that fence. Kevin has a foot and a half. Western boots. So, special items. See, I've already collected a few. These are invisible items. Another thing I didn't know before I started playing online. They're totally invisible. And they're randomly placed. Not so randomly when you know their placement. But, you know, they're not in place sight. And some of the costumes require you to collect from different stages. Different... Um, parts of the costume and when you assemble them in the Outbreak store, like uh, the collection, you will be able to buy those costumes. Shaboom! Let's go! Uh, oh wait, that's a zombie. That's... Thank you, Mark. Beautiful bastard. Hold on, Mark. Wait! Oh, fuck. Wait! Wait! We gotta kill those crows.
Yeah. How the fuck? Well, how did you teleport there? Oh, wait. Well, you're pretty tough for normal clothes. I don't want to go further because I don't want to start a cutscene. That one's dead. Okay, yes. Let's go. Because this cutscene can, if you do this too soon, your team's not ready, you can sentence them to death because it starts a timer. As you can see, it's classic Resident Evil, like you're playing Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, only with other people. That is, just, just blows my mind. I couldn't believe they could do it, but they did it. They did it so long ago, and they never revisited it. What the hell, Capcom? Now loading, come on. Now, usually I nail this jump, and I try to sync my audio, because the audio cues tell me, oh my god, there's another crow, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, die, crow. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because if you don't do this right, you will hang. And other players can help you, of course. But a crow can peck you and it's instant death. There's a lot of... Yes, Mark. Yes. Bravo. Oh, wait. I have a clip for you. Take this. Have a look. Take have a this. Look. Here you go. Yes. We'll be okay. I have the Kevin gun fully loaded. I'm not even gonna use it. Save it for later. Thanks for opening the door. I love it when people go just second before me. Four wheels? Yes, for wheels, Brown. How are you, my man? Oh, damn it. I could have mixed those herbs. It's okay. Let's go. Oh, there's no zombie here. It's normal. It's not very hard. Hello, Brown. Let's make these herbs. Make super mega herb. Uh, brown herb. Fuck yeah, let's go. You, sir. Stop or I'll kick. Oh, I missed my kick. Thank you. Fuck those guys. Yes, we made it. We made it. I'm great. I'm playing Outbreak. I'm streaming again. I made a Frankenstein out of my capture card. And it works, as you can see. And it's a great chance for you to check out the game. We ready? We're not sharing anything? Yes. Go. There's a lot of blood on the streets. You startled me. I'm surprised you're still alive. The whole city's a war zone. We need all the help we can get. I am so calm. Now, this move the super police car over there to build a barricade. dark situation. Go! Okay. This is another part that goes much better with co-op, so Mark and I will do different cars. I will just yank the map here because I like maps. I'm crazy about them. Thank you. And now we push the car. There's items in the cars, like in that car over there. We could get a shotgun, which I normally skip because this once you know this scenario, it's pretty easy. So right now those zombies are stopping me from pushing the car, but he'll keep trying, I just hold the stick and there's a little trick while you're doing this, uh, as long as you're in the pushing animation, you're kind of invincible, so they can't really get you. Uh, the zombies are not really, they're slow and dumb, sometimes they run, but oh on the very the hard, there are different enemies now. here, and they can fuck you up if you don't know what you're doing. Alright, this is the hardest part of this scenario, but we have a ton of help, and we have a kick, and there's a crooked... We just gotta break these doors. Mr. Shotgun here will shoot at them. I will bash and kick whatever I can do. Or I could even shoot at them. So, pot shot. Critical to the doors. Come on. Okay. And that's enough of that. Reload quickly. No, there's no time. Stop reloading. Bravo, my man. Whoppa! Pushed one bit by the other. Uh, just kick him. Fuck you. Uh. 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 No. Denied. Oh my god, how are you auto-aiming your zombies? Oh my god! What is my, what am I danger? Not anymore. 
Let's save Mr. Shotgun. Go away! Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh my god. Come on. I'm fucking... Urgh. Kick it, Kevin. Oh, then bash it. Then kick it. Give the door the... There we go. The heebie-jeebies. The decisive strike. Urgh. I watched most of these cutscenes a thousand times and they're still cool. What's that? A lighter and a shotgun. Lighter is critical. Now I didn't check. You can see your teammates' inventories, which is wonderful. So you can ask them for items, like to share with you or offer them items. But I didn't check if uh, Mark got the lighter. So I'm just gonna run. Oh my god, I'm not running anywhere. Woohoo! Okay, he turned towards Mark. I'm sorry, Mark. There we go. Critical. Okay, got the lighter. Thank you, Mark. No, 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 no. You don't have to carry me. Well, just punch my way out of here. I mean, attack. Go, let the gas, Mark. Take the gas. Use it to burn these bastards. Oh, la, la. oh there we go. This game is like always putting a pre the pressure on you. And I love it because it's doing that while you have to solve puzzles. There are files to read. Time is moving, so it feels more... Oh, there we go. Not bleeding anymore. Come on, Mark. You can do it. You beautiful bastard. Do it. Burn these bells. Oh, okay, there we go. Bastards burn. Shaboom. Shaboom, motherfuckers. They're doing the Vogue. Blah. Crispy. Run, Mark, run! Now we gotta jump off, otherwise we'll be blown to speed. Uh -huh. Next. Excellent. Shvoo! Well, if that didn't stop them, I don't know what will. I never understood this scene, like, pollution? Well, what's the point of it? Fires burning and smoke's going up? That's how it usually goes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good. Uh-huh. Are you okay? I guess. Now, if he's doing that... Come on, Mark, do it, do it. Do it. Come on. Yes, so you can see where on the map he is. Now if he's in a room, like if your teammates are in a room, and uh, in a further room, you can't see them, you have no visual, uh, you can check for, you can check the map, any rooms you found on the map, you will see those pink dots if they're doing this or calling anyway. And uh, it really helps find your squad without voice chat and it adds to that horror you can also like not hear we haven't heard it but i think yeah, it's more possible with more people in the game uh but if they're in an adjacent room you can hear them the muffled gunshots you can hear their footsteps if they're on the floor above you it's so crazy how much the game adds to the atmosphere now, normally, if you're playing this game, you would do it silently, you wouldn't yap on like I do. Uh, but... That's a boring game. <laughs> uh -huh. We don't need that. I could use one green if it's here. Oh. Let's go call Lieutenant Dorkenmeyer. Dorian? Hold on, don't talk to him. What the hell is going on? How could this all happen? Hello, Dr. Dorian. This is one of the events, so you can start this if the players, if the other players aren't gathered. Uh, it's more like an announcement for everyone to gather at this place. If they're, if they're, you know, behind the room or two, doing something else, mixing herbs, surviving, being blown off, blown, blown, blah, 
blown up by the truck, you know, stuff like that. That's it then? Get in, please. We're not gonna take those two other people that were obviously sitting there. Nah, they're not important. <laughs> Here's a whole van for the two of you from this whole city block. Too dangerous. We're taking side streets. Damn. <sighs> Another barricade. As you can see, there are too many roadblocks. I'm afraid you'll have to get out and continue on foot. As you can see, uh, these wooden or plastic barricades are just like they're they're too much for this metal truck, so you have to walk. Like sure. Lieutenant Doofmeyer. Oh, this no is Camo Ab. Yeah, Camo? I mean Kevin Ammo. But you wanna know what? We have two shotguns. Fuck all that. Give me a shotgun. Yeah. Fuck that, and let's take a shotgun ammo. No, let's just end. never mind. Seven shotgun shells is more than here I'll use this. A uh, huge mechanic of the game I haven't mentioned, and there's a lot of stuff in this game, so I'll keep mentioning stuff over time. Is this virus gauge the the percentage at the lower? Hold on. Uh, in the lower right, basically right now it's stopped because I heal, but it keeps going up. Once it reaches uh, 100, I'm not gonna tell you what happens. You just have to wait and see. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't happen. Nah, I can't not tell you. You turn into a zombie. And you can attack your al allies. And I think that is fucking phenomenal. Mm, okay, I'll use it. Thank you so much. He got it. Yes. Let's go. Officer Kevin. Reporting for duty. Nah, we're good. Don't worry, Raph. We're at the end of this scenario. Come on, Kevin. Give us your... Best lines. Kevin is very worthy, as you'll see. Look at that oh. face. God. <gasps> That's all I can say. Wait for the scenario, and there's some cutscenes. I love his cutscenes. They're just <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous! Yeah, you can spray people, actually, Raph. You can. You can equip the first aid spray as a weapon, and when you auto aim with R1, it will actually lock on to the allies, and you can spray them. In this, in the first game, you can only heal one ally, but which is, you know, like a huge oversight. But in File 2, they fixed it, so if all three bunch up, you can just psh, spray everyone and fill them up. Eric, you blind motherfucker! So we got to do their jobs now. It makes more sense in this scenario playing with Kevin because he's like helping his colleagues. When I do this with Cindy, the waitress, or some other guy, it's like, what the hell? Are you really gonna let civilians, you know, risk their lives? No, No. what am I gonna do? No shit. Let's wait for Mark. We don't need... We don't leave a man behind. Yes, Mark. Let's go. There's there's panic here. Officer Doofus is just watching. So I'll just kill these bastards. Fuck you all! Sh using the shotgun here is very fun, I gotta say. Oh. I'll assemble the thing. That. Fuck. I don't need this help. Reload for a bit. You can reload without entering the menu. I love that. Thank you, Mark. Here's the second part, so we gotta assemble this bomb. Oh, fuck the spray, I don't need that anymore. Bomb made, yes. Fuck you. No, not that guy! Oh, you bastard! Thank you. Auto-aim sometimes aims the, like, wrong enemies, but... Uh, that's why you have teammates. Lots of explosions. This scenario could have been called Michael Bay. I mean, nobody would... You know, nobody would notice. Because it's all like... <laughs> all the time. And that's why Raccoon City is burning in Resident Evil 2 and 3. I shit you not. Well, that's one of the reasons. There's going to be a lot more stuff we fuck up trying to escape. Now that was a rush. 
<laughs> I love how people are burning, exploding everything, and Kevin's like, now that was a doozy. <laughs> I love this game. And they moved the barricades, so we went to do their job so they could like move through barricades. There they are on the side. Everything started to go wrong from then. No. Maybe we just didn't realize things had been going wrong for a long time. Dead people wander the city in search of the living. Huh. When that becomes normal, I know that it's time to just give up. Yesterday, just before dawn, the Pentagon announced that radioactive waste has been leaked throughout Raccoon City. In accordance with U.S. safety regulations, the city has been placed under Thank you, zombie. and the army has been sent in to investigate and control the situation. And the army's like, what the hell? I don't see any radio. You're okay, just pull those trucks in. Why not? We have a minigun. We don't give a shit. Or a turret, whatever that is. All right, so we finished the first scenario outbreak. A decent score. I I don't know what the highest score is because you can do a ton of shit. So I'll just try to explain what all this shit is. Uh, it shows your character, the difficulty you played on, completion ratio, how much of the scenario you actually completed. I don't know if it's possible to complete 100% in any scenario, at least in multiplayer, because some things count are counted only if you do it. We'll get to that. Your uh, rank and the play time, uh, the number of special items you found, your total points, and if you don't have friends registered, so it had a fucking friend list, if you don't have them, if I didn't have my friend here, I could register it. Now on page 2, it'll show like detailed stuff uh, about co-op, uh, how well you cooperate with other players, saving them, them saving you, and your infection rate, the virus that keeps going up, stuff like that. And on the third page, you can see your completion uh, like checklist, I'm going to say. So you can see what you did in this scenario. Some things are counted like one player does them, and they count towards everyone. Some things you got to do, and they just count for you. So that's why we've seen maybe like 50% of this scenario. We didn't go in like three, four rooms that were unnecessary for finishing it. But there's a lot of side stuff. So there's a lot of replay value and this is the shortest scenario. Now we're gonna go to the second one and this one will be familiar to anybody who's played old school Resident Evil. Now remember this is happening on the eve of the outbreak so like in the timeline this would be I guess hours after William Birkin uh, was shot. Uh, self-infected whatever you want to call it after Birkin's incident um, and as we play through all the 10 scenarios in both games you will see how some things I like little easter eggs how well they connected them to between the games it was really sweet uh, the meeting room is basically for because there was no Skype or anything back then and I like I said there was no vo voice chat so you would You'd have to find way to, you know, find these people and, you know, arrange times to play together. So in the meeting room, like after the, the game, everybody, like if, if you don't click exit, you can see, you know, if there are more people here, you can see their stats, characters they played, and all this stuff. Um, chat. You can chat with them to arrange a new game and stuff like that. In Outbreak File 2, a lot of these things were improved and they work a lot better. Now, I will need to use the keyboard to create a new game. Right now, there's not a lot of people playing. Yesterday, uh, file 1 was practically grim. So, BFP... BFP... Look, password. Go to normal. And in this one... This one, I think well, it's better. Should I be cabin? Yeah, I can be cabin. I think my body's gonna be Yoko. And uh, if he agrees, because having Yoko in this scenario, great. Having Yoko in this scenario, 
I'm gonna stay ca uh, classic Kevin. I have his cowboy outfit, but because of this scenario, you're gonna see where it takes place. Change the scenario. I always forget that. Um, because of this scenario, I think it's kind of throwback to have Kevin in his classic RPD outfit. Now my body's gonna be Yoko. She's basically the mule of the group. She's I think she has she's the weakest, if not the second weakest character. She's definitely the slowest, and some of her variations have like I think 60% of base speed, whilst Kevin has 105%. So she's more for advanced players, especially because where Kevin has kick, she has some kind of uh, a dodge, like she's scared, so she throws herself backwards on the ground and crawls. And depending on how long you hold the button, she'll crawl, she'll crawl longer or you know shorter amount of time. And when you master that it really helps you dodge a lot of zombies because you can have them like pincer you and just like fall in between them and just run away uh she has double so well where kevin has his special gun in the fifth inventory slot she has a backpack which holds four more inventory slots so she has double inventory basically and in this scenario because she works at the place we're gonna play it right now i don't want to say it if you haven't played the game uh she will she can cut the scenario in half because she can we can skip the whole floor because you don't have a to do a whole thing and i'll explain it in the game. now let me see if there's any chance anyone joining us so we're more than two the more the, the merrier but right now a lot of people are playing file two so let's see yeah there are some games but nobody's currently looking for a game. So let's see. Do, 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 do. What was that? Okay, two, still two of us. Anybody wants to play? Shoobity boobity boop. Well, yeah. Well, let's finish this. Uh, nobody's currently uh, playing. Uh, I mean, everybody who's on the server is currently playing a scenario, so we're just gonna start with the two of us. I think we can ace this. This scenario will split us, so it's possible we'll die, but I doubt it because it's normal. Uh, the RNG in this game can be brutal, but, you know, with some practice it's not that you know it's not impossible and uh sometimes you will die on easy and sometimes you will survive on very hard which is again what kind of makes it interesting for me gives it more depth here we go young milikons <laughs> Turning back now. She sounds like Mila Kunis. All be worth it. Ah, where are we now? Yoko. Now, if nobody chose Yoko, she would yeah. still be in this game. Yoko, take this. Go now. Let's go. Yoko. Uh huh. Right. Yes. Oh, never mind. It's starting. You might have already recognized the place. What's wrong with this thing? Stupid. Because that's how we fix computers in Umbrella, bitch. Uh. Losing electric pressure. Screw it. I'll I'll just find another way out of here. Me me. So if we didn't have Yoko in this scenario, she would still be here as an NPC, but she would die pretty quick and she would be a zombie plus we couldn't skip a whole floor because she's a zombie zombies are really smart now for the sake of the scenario i'm gonna let yoko go ahead and start this shoobity boobity boob oh uh -oh. what was that monica i didn't expect you to return after your little incident, 
I assume that you went and hid under a rock like the little child that you are. Me, 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 me. What is that capsule? Wait, wait. Are you after this too? Hmm. You are, aren't you? Oh, you are so. Stop it. I, I don't understand. This was oh, that about. line was always so weird. Don't okay. play the innocent little girl <laughs> with me. You can't fool me. You could never fool me. Monica but Mind Reader, huh? <laughs> Give me your ID card. Not your boob, your ID card. Why are you blind? Yoko, you little lifesaver. I'm so glad I like how she's staring at it. Up. It would be funny if like a crow just flew by and just nabbed the card from her hand. She's like, damn you crow! Have a nice life. Characters, all these characters, <laughs> yes. Uh, all these characters have backstories, and Yoko's is really interesting. I never. Oh, it's another. Well, actually, why not? Yoko's is really interesting, and it's never fully told. And there, sh all accounts show there should have been like. Oh, thank you, Yoko. Thank you so much. Two guns. Why not? You, you want to stick? No. So by now you probably recognize this place. This is where Claire and Leon escape at the end of Resident Evil 2. Only this is happening sometime earlier, I'm gonna say. Though, you know, it's... Not all things are perfect, like the elevator, as you will see now. Sometimes, randomly, it'll just kind of fall off. Uh, there shouldn't be... But we can imagine, like, maybe somebody fixed it, you know. It's always... You can always give this game... Especially these early uh, Resident Evil games, you can, you know, look Did through you a f anything? certain things because the overall material and the, the atmosphere is just amazing. Okay, I'm I'm in the I'm on the sixth e floor. He's on the other one. Now here, oh my God, e six. Where do I go? I usually end up with e seven because I didn't play cabin for a long time. Oh yeah, okay, this is where I want to go. But if I'm on B6, that means... Ooh, sure. I'll need the map. Oh, okay, I see why. Yeah, that's... Okay. So there are two ways I can do this. I need a valve from here, so I can just bash it like a crazy motherfucker. But for the first time show, uh, I'm just gonna... What's that? I'm just gonna do like the whole tiny puzzle thing. You know what? That's worth more than her. Here you go, herb. You stay there. No shit. Okay, Kevin. You're the zombie expert. We're counting on you. I suppose Yoko is on the seven B seven, so he has a whole different puzzle, and you know. Uh, a lot of different stuff to do. We, maybe we can even see him calling. Yep, there he goes. You can see him, so I know what he's doing. Based on that, sir, fuck you. But goodbye. I waited too long. So standing in this game, standing around can cost you. Aside from like zombies actually go moving from room to room, which was like, it blew my mind back in the day. But it also caused a lot of traumas because I was like, this is a safe room. Oh my god, they're breaking in. Uh, but they're also respawning, especially on very hard, you don't want to keep shooting, you want to dodge and tackle whatever you can, save some ammo, because it's pointless, they all be, will always be there. Now there could be a guy or two here, his head will tell me, what's that, another gun? No, actually, you know what, I'm cool guys, I'm Kevin the gun master. Okay, oh, ammo, but I need the wrench. So I can tow this frozen wrench. And it's now not an unfrozen normal, your know, regular random wrench. Let's eat that. Just stop the virus, get the ammo, try to be fast and help Yoko downstairs. I think this one's openable. Yep. So you can open them, find items, and some of them you can even hide. You will, you're like, you have to learn which they are. So. Zombies couldn't find me. Okay. 
Yeah, there we go. There he is. And he will ignore me. But if I make any noise, like even opening the map makes noise, he will come here. Thank you. Come here. Bring it on, bitches. Oh, he's not even looking. So I'm waiting for him now to come in front of this locker because What the hell is that? What's the rush? Come on. Uh-huh. Good. I'll just run around. I wanted to stun him, but no. Woohoo! Goodbye, sweet sir. Let's Bye bye. We have to go. I gotta check where my buddy is. Okay, yupity doopity doop, or there's zombies here. I think that's the guy who followed me. Yeah, pretty much. It's... Hello, sir. <clears throat> Fuck you. No, deny. Uh, he's gonna follow me through that door 100%. And there could be another one here, so I gotta quickly open this, like, maintenance box and grab the valve before I get eaten. And he killed the plant. Bravo, you magnificent bastard. So now I don't even have to, I, I could go down there and help him, but it was uh, faster than I was. So I can just exit on this floor and make it, you know. There are multiple ways of finishing, like ev almost every room, not just scenario. So I could open it and go down, but I'm going to run to the other end. We'll meet, because where he just poisoned the plant. That's where the ladders are, and I can exit from this. Their heads will tell you if there's a zombie, because they will turn towards them. I don't know if it's a shotgun, but we don't need it. There we go. Hey! Oh, great. Uh huh. This thanks. Your timing sucks. So, oh, it's if it's if it's ammo, I can combine it. Wait. Yes. Good. Hey. Yep. Oh, hey, oh. That classic valve turning sound. We don't need that anymore. This is it. Forty-five rounds. Hell yeah! Thank yeah. you. Thanks a lot. Then you can have these. Have a look. I'm the better shooter. Thank you so much. Holy shit! You gave me a shotgun. You sweet, sweet bastard. Thank you. That triggers the next cutscene. That was so 2000, late 90s, like ducking under a sliding door. Because we're that, in, that much in a hurry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! It won't move! Why? Oh, give me a break. I don't believe this. Something else I have to fix to get out of here. Oh, what was that? That was one of Willie's babies, or so I'm told. I found some information. I... Did you find anything? There's one thing I came across. There's one thing I came across. Isn't there anything we can use? So we can skip this whole floor, B5, because we have a Yoko. Basically what we do there, we do what Leon and Claire had to do, go to the moth lair and uh, register our fingerprints. But since Yoko worked here, she doesn't have to do that. Still, like, there's a possibility in multiplayer the moth can kidnap you. That never happens in PAL version. So the first time it happened here, I shut my pants. I didn't know what's gonna happen. So if that happens, your teammates gotta go down and rescue you. Otherwise, with, with Yoko, we have no need of it. Oh, look, it's a frozen hunter. What is that? Come here, Yoko. Come on! Yoko! Come on! Got an empty ribbon? Uh huh. Thank you very much. And it says the ink is already What's used wrong? up. Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Should do something here. Yes! I'm gonna drop the gun. I'm gonna be super efficient. <laughs> Excellent. So this is pretty easy on normal now. By now, when you start, it's 
can when you don't know what you're doing it's really hard so what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna wait here and yoko's gonna get a key card because there's no reason for both of us to run in the same direction um we just risk being poisoned by the moth should be wild here yes Custodian's diary now something that this is missing uh, that file 2 has when you're reading a file a document in outbreak file 2 uh, all this green text that's a key text important i could press a button and he would talk about it with the other players so if you found a code for a computer or like a puzzle and only you found it nobody else has you can share it with them that way he would say something like we need the turntable key or something like that seventh page wow you're supposed to read this in, uh in online game yeah management finds out i lost a key getting fired will be the least of my worries there's even a rumor screw-ups could even be used as bait for some people that's subject subjects the company's working on it. Thank God, Roy from security found the key in the bathroom and brought it to the admin. Although I found out about this through my boss who looks like he's about ready to chew me a new one. I don't know why I gave him this accent, I just randomly oh chose God. an accent for it. Thank you, Yoko. No time for reading. Yes. Let's go. Thank you. Shoobity boobity boo. There's also no reason for both of us to go here, but I just want to want everyone to yeah. see this. Hello, Mr. Hunter. No, I can't do anything here, but Yoko can. Over Thank there. you, Yoko. Thanks. Beep, boop. Yeah. I'm fine, but... who are those? These are good for the boss, but I'm Kevin. I will just destroy them. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Yoko. Oh my god, it's he's alive. Uh, go, Yoko. Let's not waste our precious ammo. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just shoot. Just shoot. <laughs> the the lines, audio like their their audio lines and the titles for these ad libs, they don't always don't stick your tongue to them. <laughs> See, he's always commenting on his uh, oh environment. God. They don't always match up, but the thing is, I think they couldn't. Re put so many voice lines so voice lines are just a general gist of what they're saying while the what's this another shotgun i found some information go yoko yoko yes uh -huh. so you can see all the space yoko has very useful yeah we can read this yoko's about to do some shit nasty shit That's the right reason why it's so cold here. Which is also cool because in Resident Evil 2 when you get here, this is the only room that's still frozen. And you can see ice like on the outside of the P shaft, P type shaft. There's Not nothing. Bad. Yeah. Wait. Timing sucks. I know. Wait a minute. If we hurry up if we get yeah. there too fast, they can the hunters can um we can make it harder for us, so we want to time it. Come on. We want to time it right. so that by the time we get to the turntable, uh, it starts melting. There's a lot of strategy in this game, and you know, the way you want to play. Oh, yeah, the hunters are melting now. She's still there? Yes. Come on, come on, Kevin! Go, Kevin! So they're gonna start melting and they'll be out for blood. Uh, oh, why did I do that? I should have done that. I never get slashed by that guy. Yeah. If I just kept running, I would have, you know, I wouldn't have damaged. Yeah, right on time. This is why I said wait over there because we came to uh, we, we got here too early they would the hunters would be swarming us and there's a huge battle here with the hunters you can just skip in the stupidest way again something i learned only by playing online never you know when i was playing solo i was this was a panicky bit this was a hard scenario 
Oh my god, run, Kevin, you fast fuck. We're gonna need that. We're gonna have to use it on this. Then we're gonna need our shells. Yes. Come on. So to avoid the hunters, you just climb here. If if you didn't like draw them around on this side, they will stay on this side. And this is something we like to call hunter tennis match because they do it. Let's see. Let's get ready to shut down. I don't think I'll need my trusty 45 auto. But we'll see. Do -do -do Basically now we wait for the clock. We could fight them, but why? <laughs> Yoko is tripping. Gotta break this door. Oh, I hear Hunter. You know? Let's see. They will bob their heads. But the cutscene. Blur. Blur. Where's your precious sample, Monica? Now, she has a special item near her that I still didn't pick up because. You know. It's very easy to fuck up a game against hunters, especially if you're holding a weapon. So, if you're fighting hunters in this game, unless you're Jim, and you gotta save File 2, and Yoko in File 2, you don't wanna be equipping well. So you wanna unequip it and be like this, because they can uh, break your weapons. And only one character can repair them. So... You know, it's 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 risky. It doesn't have to happen, but it's always easier to just push them out of the way and run. Another minute and a half of looking at nothing. Five seconds left. All right. Okay. Twenty seconds left. Oh. Usually on very hard, there's a bunch of hunters here and the characters are just doing this, basically. <laughs> then they're looking like left and right. Da -na 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 -na. This is Metal Cabin now. Oh, quickly equip. Right on time. Bloop. Warning. Warning. Caution. Warning. Caution. <laughs> oh man, I love these, like techno cutscenes when I was a kid, like the way elevator moves and all, all the details they depict, which is why we played all Resident Evil games, for all those in-depth details, the small touches. Ah! You kind of alien out of me. Or, I mean, because he came from Willy, so it's probably... This is a G baby. If you played any version of Resident Evil 2, you know what this is. Um, but it, they don't stay babies for long. We've learned that kind of in Rari 2. This is where, uh, honestly, I love this game, but this is where it started it doing thinking. its uh, yeah. <sighs> wow. fast mutation thing, which all is right, kind of. Right. There's I have pros and cons against that. I don't know. Run, Kevin! Yes, I'll be there before he spawns. There we go. So the way this uh, game works, whoever first loads into a certain room, in-game room, they're the server of their game, and they will experience zero lag, basically. 
while everyone else can experience lag, you've seen some of the teleporting zombies in the previous scenario. Uh, so, usually when I when I end up being uh, the room server here, I just run across it. So, so as soon as the battle starts, I'm already in front of the boss, because I want to keep stunning him. This is basically just like a weaker version of Willy. The easiest boss in the game, and my favorite to fight. Boom, motherfucker! Nope, deny. Go for the train, Yoko. We can train the bastard, which I'll do. Oh. Yes, train him, train him! Did you pull it? Go! No! Sorry. What, it didn't hit him at all? He'll die, don't worry. Oop, 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 oop. Gotta reload. Before he puts some G babies onto us. Boom, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's not moving anywhere. I just love stunning. I could shoot faster, but this is fine. Where are you thinking about? For all the trouble your brethren caused in, like, RE2. I have no idea what I ah! That was too early. Thank you, Yoko. And as always, Kevin's on the ground. That's kind of the theme of this game. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kevin. Ah! We did it! We did it! We actually I have a bad did it! Of embellishing stories, but I don't need to do it this time. At present, Raccoon City is one giant freak show. His endings are the best. Like he's he's so worthy. <laughs> well, we're not gonna see it tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna see my favorite Kevin scene. Oh my God! That was the best time and score, and only two players. I played this scenario quite a few times. Nice, nice, nice. That's so the score and time are counted, you know, per um, per difficulty. So this would be the best I achieved on normal. I th think with all characters, I'm still not. I'm still catching pieces of this game, left and right. Oh, uh, we're gonna do one more scenario, but we're gonna take a minute break. I'll be back and. Two minutes with Resident Evil Loud Break Online Gameplay. Welcome back, everyone. This is Hip Tesla. We're doing Resident Evil Outbreak File One multiplayer. Uh, not really good uh, day for File One, I'm gonna say, but I wanted to do it in order. A lot of people are playing File Two right now, which is okay because once we get to File Two, which would be I think in two days, maybe earlier, um, there's gonna be a lot more to show. I still haven't mastered File 2, I mostly played this one. Um, playing single player, the European version, I gave up on it uh, at a certain scenario. You will see why, because like I said, I didn't know a lot of things. I only played Kevin because I thought like, who else am I going to play with? I'm not going to play with the waitress or the little girl with a backpack, which was a mistake, I admit, but you live and you learn. And this is why the game is still kind of fresh for me. So let's see. I can communicate the game and tell him so. Let's see. I like how when you type you can actually, it sounds like you're typing on, uh, on a typewriter, that's a great touch as well. Again, I say for 2003 this game has uh, has a lot to offer really. I just remembered something, I'm sorry. It's a whole process just to start typing though. Uh, what we want is... I'll go get the car.
There we go. Now it's a lot easier for me to type uh, on the keyboard, of course. You can type with the controller as well, but that's kind of a uh, nightmare. You gotta do all that and select letter by letter, so that's why I'm the chattiest person here, <laughs> usually, aside from my charming personality. <laughs> so, who's he gonna be? He's gonna be Hunk. I'm gonna be George, so I'm gonna be a different character, because I played Kevin in two scenarios already. So I'm gonna show you what George does. He can create medicine. Now, when you're playing single player, the game tells you a lot of info about these characters, like the, the selection screen, but in the in free multiplayer mode, it's assumed that you already know at least the basics of the game. So George is a doctor, and I chose him because I like having maps, and he starts with this map, and it's gonna make sense why, once you see the location. What is that? Oh, oh my god, it's a better version of the Raccoon Hospital. Than in RE3 Remake. So this is the Raccoon Hospital, General Hospital maybe, or Spencer Memorial as it's called now, uh, which is the way we remember it from Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation. Oh, I apologize if I surprised you. Please do not be alarmed. I'm a doctor in this hospital. I must say that this hospital is not an ideal place to take shelter. It's not as safe as it may look or sound. I myself have decided to get out of here soon. It doesn't look or sound safe, motherfucker, but okay. <laughs> I think the most alarming thing here is your gestures, dude, but okay. Hmm. They will follow us over there. Oh, I Isn't hate there gorgeous things. My face. Door in my face. Shoobity boobity boo. So there is a gun there, but I'm better than that. Oh. He's gonna get it. Okay, I'll wait here. What? <sighs> this stage has a, or rather, scenario map, whatever, has a menacing um, enemy that we have to kill in order to proceed. And you met him already, basically. This is where the map would be, but George already has the map. It works. Here. So yeah, he just did it. He just in this room. You'll see it. At some point, um, he just triggered the enemy. So right now, what I need to do is this. That should like give him some time. Oh, the bloody elevator isn't working. I'm trying to figure out or, why. Or or despawn the enemy because he's gonna be here. And he's gonna be supplied by too. an auxiliary battery. See if this works. If this. Pushing this one button seven times works. Yeah, that's how you fix things, kids. <laughs> prepare for the stupidest death in not all of out like both Outbreak games and Resident Evil as a whole. Counting survivor or gun survivor. Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I get it now, I didn't understand it for long. I get it, he's bleeding and it's attracting the leeches, and that's the leech man, the leech monster, similar to like RE0, but man, couldn't you have done anything else, like the stupidest way to die, definitely, and we've seen a lot, oh boy, but yeah, now we have that, so what I need here, oh he, what's that? What I want is this. I think you used the. Ah, you little Damn bitch. You. Damn you, indeed. No! Stop it, bro. Uh -huh. Oh, I think he used the nurse call button. Yes! It's one of the checklist items. Burn in hell. Bird in hell. Nothing else here? Hello, let's sure go. Do. Uh -huh. Oh, he's got a red. That's. So George is special, I still haven't shown Yeah, He has a fifth slot which is like a medicine kit, so he can use herbs to create medicine, like pills, and Wait stack him. Here, Come here where? Come here. Yes. Wait. What? Oh, I'm not waiting, that guy's there. What do you mean wait? Did you find it? Why are we coming here, huh? Come on! What? The nurse call button? Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. 
Thanks. Yes. Ah. Possible. We're safe, I think. So opening the the normal door can fuck your teammates over because there's a buffer pre period until it opens. Hey but there. yes, okay, I should go to here. Uh, so they can be grabbed, but you learn to time it. And opening the vertical shutter doors is ridiculous because you just, as soon as they open, you can actually enter before the player who actually opened them. Oh boy, hello, man. You. So George's, instead of the pick, he has this. You can charge it and then, like, knock him down. Knock him down. What's this? Wherever it is, I'll take it. Bye bye now. Oh, and that's the leech one. So he will keep using the ventilation system to hunt what? us down. So we gotta outsmart him before we kill him. Now, even when we kill him, if one of us dies, or like any of us dies in a four player match, they become the next leech man. That guy is unkillable. So I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna save it to her. If I do this right, yep. Because I was using the card, I was invincible for a second. So you can use t things like that to buy yourself time, avoid entry. And as you can see, I'm not even using guns. But when I should. This, make something out of it. Ah, oh, I should have taken that herb and replaced it with car. No. Push. Very capable. George. Making medicine is not really straightforward until you learn it. So you would expect green herb to heal you and make a healing medicine. No, it makes an antidote. The blue one makes a healing medicine. So you want the red and blue, which uh, we don't have here. We just have to make regular old red blue mix. Red blue mix. Well, he's doing the elevator stuff. I'm gonna be doing. Woohoo! Oh, you bitch! You bitch! Your timing. Is it off of me? Yeah. So all I have to do is. Look. I wanted to jump. Yeah, that. Okay, I'll have to use some. Or just drop the gun. There before. I don't even need a gun. Too late. A lot, there are certain, not certain, there are bonuses for finishing a scenario without using any weapons, so that includes not even equipping the first aid spray to heal your allies, uh, and a different bonus for finishing with no, absolutely no damage, which is a little harder, probably, I haven't gotten that one yet, I've got absolutely no weapon bonuses, but they're like, you know, making, oh my god, it's too early. Yep, that was too early. Hold on. If I charge it all the way down, it will drop for a few seconds. I'm gonna leave the uh, red green mix for cabin or hunk. And. Woo! There we go. He already did it. Bravo. Bravo. We can just. Get out of here. Yeah. That's the beauty. So, if I were doing this alone, it would take a lot more time because bots won't do the things. You get two bots, so it's it, there's no third. So, there's only three players that sit there. And uh, they won't do these things. They will solve some puzzles if they start on a different part of the map, they need to reach you, but they won't finish the game for you, which is okay. They're they're pretty commendable bots for their time, even for today, I gotta say. So, uh, you're. Blah, 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 fuck that. Let's go. Oh, uh, yes. So, while I was doing this, my buddy was. Uh, he unlocked the. Um, uh, S access to B2F. And, oh, I could have missed that. Use this. Use it already. 
Ooh, ah! Lies and slander, leg switching, bitch. Leg switching! Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Dear god. Yes, dear god, you need to hold on. Hunk, I need to pull up. Now, you can see that he's Hunk, but it says Kevin when I call him, and he sounds like Kevin. That's because there's this, these eight main characters, and everybody else is their, like, type, so Hunk is a Kevin type. Hold on a sec. Oop. One big... Um, and he has Kevin's skills, but he has different unique stats, so I don't know, he might be a little faster or has more health. No, nobody's faster than Kevin. It's the fast thing. But yeah. You get what I I think you get. Hello. Thank you. Their gun? Yes. Well, Kevin. <clears throat> Here's what I'm thinking. You're gonna be shooting and I'm gonna yes. be baiting. That's gonna be our strategy. There's a bunch of bullets for you. I, I left my gun uh -huh. below there, so I think we can go. Oh yeah, I can get another health for that. That's right. George unlocks the boat. This is our escape route. Now again, we've seen maybe 15% of this map. Because... He did like some things, there are a lot of things you don't have to do, there are a lot of things that would be there and very Wait. hard and hard. Wait. I wanna help, so why not? But we also get to uh -huh. Blood. Spread the blood. Uh, I'm gonna go get my gun, because why not? We have heals, I have this oh, no, not the crutch. Thanks. Come on! Uh -huh. Ooh. Rooftop? Did you get the thing from Rooftop, Kevin? Let's hope we understand each other and he ends up on Rooftop. That would be awesome. Yeah, there's some good bombs here. So yes! Okay, give me your gun. So I can ask him for his gun. Not right now. Oh, you want me to take it? Sure, why not? Hey! Hi! Hey there! Hey! Hi! Hey there! Good. Try to use it. Good. Try to use it. I need place. Oh, actually, why am I giving it? It's gonna drop here. There we go. Move! Go! Come on! Yes. Just take your. Yes! Good. Let's go. We don't even have to go for my god. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. So this submachine gun we got because we had Kevin on the team. And different difficulties, it's different weapons. Uh, the guy Here, wouldn't give it to you. anybody else. How dare you? Hey! You here? Yes. Did you find anything? Yes, I'll take one box of ammo because it just uses yes. regular tech. Isn't there anything we can use? Thank you. Possible. Thank you so much. Let's go. Brum, brum, off we go. With all those weapons, we needed a padlock key. I mean, that's classic Resident Evil. We couldn't just shoot it off. We shot off like the door, fucking indestructible door in outbreak scenario. But here we're like, nah, we need a key. Well, this is another interesting boss. Uh, before I understood how to defeat it, it was a lot harder, but now it's like a piece of cake because you can use a lot of environmental stuff, which he's weak to, or it's weak to. It's a giant leech, so I don't know. Woohoo! It's dead. So, what I need to do is make it, yeah, keep tackling towards me, but not spit at me like that. That was not bad. Ooh, that's too bad. And it, it, whoa, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh my god, it's kind of teleporting. Ah, oh, don't spit! Well, some, this can go either way. This can go, like, perfect. But it can go. 
I could shoot him, but I want to use those environmental things. I'm going to protrude its like very long BB, try to catch us. Stop spitting! Yeah. Yes, keep moving. Yes, 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 yes. Nope. Uh, there it is. Okay, Kevin, I'll do it. I'm the doctor. You have to sacrifice yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. Just a bit more. Another one. Yes, so just a little bit more. Yes. And the last one will finish him off. So we don't have to actually, you can kill it with a couple of bullets if you care. No, we just want to keep pulling it back. If all else fails, there's another, like, environmental victim at the end of this round. See, it gives you pen, vibration, and light. So we want to use that, exactly. But I don't want to hurt Kevin. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Go, Kevin, go. I don't want to blow up. This will kill him, definitely. Boss. This is what no? Well, this this will kill him. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bastard. I thought he was the boss. Kevin. Thank you becomes my apology. I like that. Nice man. We'll burn to this one. We won't even need to fight. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, the last one's here, so he's gonna go then up here. You can see the little barrel over there. I'm gonna use it against the boss and try not to kill Kevin, which tends to be like the uh, map. Go, Kevin, you can climb. Do it, you crazy bastard. Come on. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's good. So we could have killed it with like, what? Four bullets, basically. But when you're playing for the first time, you don't know any of that. You're just like, fucking, it's a huge leech. You're shooting it. It's not taking damage. Excellent. We're both fine. Huh. That was pretty easy. And I'm machine gun George. I've never done that. We don't need the weapon anymore. Thanks. Dear God. What's happening? There's no target. What a nightmare. There's no jumping either. Oh my god, he's got insane. Hey, you. No shit, my favorite Kevin line. <laughs> What's the rush? What's happening? What? I don't know what to do. Oh. oh. What's wrong? What's that? What's this? Where are you? Where, where am I? Who are we? And the end. Scenario 3 over, I guess. Good. Now, like I said, there's a lot of hidden stuff, so... Even if I play this another 50 times, I could still not find everything for each character. Uh, everybody has their own ending for each scenario. Some scenarios have two. One of them even has four endings per character, depending on how you play it. It's insane. So there's like 32 endings for one scenario. And, you know, like I keep saying, a lot of content. Best time, not best score. Still commendable. commendable. Mostly fine, but caution. And 34%. Not bad. Not bad. Well, there you have it, folks. That's uh, Outbreak in a nutshell for now. Now that I've uh, managed to Frankenstein my capture card into like working and being able to stream from my old consoles that you know that are Xbox One, or they don't have HDMI. Um, I will be streaming a lot of Outbreak when I have some free time which hopefully might even be every uh, evening. Can't promise anything, depending on, you know, other stuff in my life, like my work, uh, my job. But whenever I'm around, I will do this. I am enjoying this game a lot. In fact, I haven't enjoyed 
online game like this ever. Um, thank you all for watching. It's been wonderful three scenarios. Until next time, stay well. Bye-bye.